Welcome, Alessandro. You just uh, gave a, a talk about uh, the legal side of crowdfunding. Uh, what was the core of your of your message that you want to uh, deliver? Well, we spoke about policy, policy making, which is often made of limits. Uh, there are limits in legislation concerning the maximum amount that a deal can uh, require to the crowd. There are limits when you uh, allow people to invest in a project. Well, I think that the most important uh, message is that we do not li need limits, we need education, we need information. There is no limit in no country for gambling and I don't understand that because gambling does not create any value while crowdfunding does create value, create employment. Uh, so why putting a limit to people who want crowdfund? It's more important to educate them, to check their proclivity to risky investment but just putting limit, I think it's, it does not much sense. And one of the points of your presentation was uh, also about protecting the investors. Uh, yes. I think it's really good because uh, also from my own personal experience in crowdfunding, uh, investors, they have no idea uh, what they are investing in. Uh, what, yeah. what kind of practical things has to change to, to uh, protect the investors in a better way? Well, policymakers are reasoning just now about equity crowdfunding and equity crowdfunding is a kind of crowdfunding that requires a, a stronger and different protection than reward. With reward crowdfunding, the risk that you run is that you pre-order something and that something never comes or comes differently from what you imagined. It's something which is related to e-commerce in general, nothing much different. Instead, as far as equity crowdfunding is concerned, you are making an investment so you must be educated on what is an investment how to understand the company how to read the business plan because you have expectation expectation of profit of sustainability of a, a certain business plan well I think that information and education are the most important thing then you can add other protection for instance in any European uh, regulation there are consumers right the withdrawals right um, in Italy, there is a very interesting regulation which imposes a so-called tag-along right. So when the founder of the company sells his shares in the company, the crowdfunders have the right to sell their shares together with him at the same price and at the same condition. This is important because often people invest in the team, in the founders of the project. So if they go away, the people who have sustained that business should have the same right to go away at the same conditions. And we, and we look at the legal aspect of crowdfunding. Uh, uh, there are, uh, we're living in Europe uh, and people are not thinking uh, uh, with boundaries, uh, but the legal, uh, the legal aspects are connected to boundaries. Uh, what, uh, in what way do you think can we create a more international legal uh, landscape? That's a very hard task because uh, uh, as far as uh, financial law is concerned, usually countries create Chinese walls between them so that your investment remains in the country. This is uh, the regulation and this is conflicting with the concept of crowdfunding. Crowdfunding is based on the web, so on the possibility to reach an enormous number of persons. In order to um, uh, have the possibility of really enjoying of the power of the web, we need uh, uniform regulation and we need agreements among, among the countries.